he's got a grenade. Alright, uh, we're gonna do this mission. Special mission. Start mission. Boy squad. Keep going in with just five. Well. Palms online. It's also weird that the tooltip does something on the living no quarters. Like it tells you it building more living quarters increases stamina regen, but it doesn't say a goddamn thing about increasing capacity. Moving fast. In other words, is it increasing capacity? Receiving loud and clear. Perception was 20, so if it does have reactive fire, it'll be about there. We can go up to here to shoot it. All I need is a clear shot. <laughs> Alright, lower the mouse DPI, go. Let's find it. So chat, if you don't know what I'm looking at, see the white skull at the top next to where it says Arfron or whatever his name is to the left of 130 there? When it gets a red X over it, it means a guaranteed kill. So you see how like right there when I move from left to right or right to left, pops up for a second? Somewhere in here there's a guaranteed kill. The rest of the time it's only percent based. Oh good. That pixel is his weak spot. We did it. Right there. God, we found it. Weak spot. Hostile neutralized. Changing a 99.9 to 100 is going to change the war. It's actually a really big deal going from... Uh... They give it this way. If you're 99% accurate, your failure rate's 1%. Now imagine you go to 99.5. You've halved your failure rate. That's a big deal, man. And if you go from 99 to 100, it's not even chance-based anymore. It's a guaranteed kill. You can make actual plans around it that don't have to have contingency plans on it because it's guaranteed to impact the way that uh, you're hoping it to. It is a big deal. I'm glad we're on the same page. All right, well. What is this thing? New enemy has 470 health and it just mind controlled me from fucking walking out of a building mind control me. It's another mind control enemy? Can we have another mechanic? So there's three enemies we've encountered so far in this game that mind control. Cost two willpowers per turn to maintain control. Okay. Thanks. That is actually helpful. What do you think resisted is? Resisted what? Oh, the shock. That makes sense. Alright, let's go ahead and war cry. Alright, that actually crushed their will. Why did I lose five will points on my engineer? Alright, willpower is four, so we can move and shoot as long as we're only moving two tiles, uh, which is there. arm hostile neutralized and it says we don't have line of sight to shoot at it over there it's annoying so we really need this guy to kill it on his own he only gets one shot to do that uh maybe we can blow the wall up the outer layer of the wall apparently it was doubly insulated but we did kill enough of the we killed the the sensitive machinery behind it and cleared a line of sight perfect chat a million iq plays we do have two shots here 
We don't need two shots though. All right, sniper next, I think. Looking for a shot on that guy. Repositioning. Should be getting. I gotta start paying attention to the fact that I can regenerate willpower points by uh, killing units. So I should be using willpower actions. I think it's an AOE regenerate. Confirming target. My, it's a tiny head you have. Can we get a guaranteed? So what's more important here then? So this is like a 30%. So it's 50 in the inner circle. So that's 50 there. We want it north or up down localized. So then that's another probably 40% of that circle. So it's 40% of 50. And then another 50 on top of that. It's like a 70 roughly. Okay. Um, feels kind of bad. Why does it get to do that? I was 11 tiles out, not in 10, so I'm not in perception range, so... Perception. Perception 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That moved one tile in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I apparently miscounted last turn and moved one tile in. Feels bad. All right, how do I get the eggs off my head? I have to punch them. If I bash him here, is it actually going to do what he needs to do here? The heavy more mobile since they're so terribly immobile right now. That was a kill. Gotcha. Enemy down. So chat, let me know if we ever get to a point where it's a guaranteed kill signal and it doesn't guarantee kill. Please let me know so we can track that. So uh, we'll know then if that's the case or not. At the moment, that's how it feels. Is this game solid? I have yet to try to hit someone with it, but I like the heft of it right now. Mission briefing. Our operatives have discovered the cry uh, cryogenics laboratory Simon's mentioned in his notes. It appears to have been a government facility, possibly a black site of some sign. As far as we can tell, Symes came here to examine samples collected in the 1960s. Unfortunately, the facility has been compromised and now functions as a base for a group of raiders. All right, let's check the mission out. Everyone has med kits, right? I thought it prompted me to replace. What does this mean? Not proficient. Why does my sniper have that at all? My sniper, what happened to my sniper rifle? What? And she's now wearing different armor too, or? Yeah, they're not wearing, we're using my sniper rifle. They're using a assault rifle. They're using an assault rifle. It went kaboom. What? How would it have gone kaboom? We just used it in the last mission. my phantom armor it's just gone oh 
Autosave is from 11 minutes ago. Do you think that was post mission? I mean, I guess we have the current existing save. Let's see where the autosave is. Free gear, by all means, do it. But don't steal my fucking sniper rifle while you're doing it. Ooh. All right, so we queued up Pandoran colonies and sirens. We leveled up Panama Jacked and leveled. Willpower. Uh, what else did we do? We were moving rifles around, but we're not moving anything onto that character until we get to the base. Let's go to where we were going to go. We started a scan. We were going to do this mission. currently unarmored, but my armor survived, so that's at least good. Obtain the research data. There's an enemy heavy with an Ergen MG independent machine gun. Wait, I can see him to shoot him? Ready to fire. Comes online. I have nine willpower. I'll probably just kill him. Anyone sees kill flash? So we just high roll killed him. Good news. Okay. How do we know their names? Attempting to acquire target. Raiders were in name bags, name tags in this game. Keep is not a hitbox. I really don't want to hit this fucking weapon. We're gonna. So that's like our best chance. This guy's got heavier armor. Why? What does this one have that we're looking at? This is saying if we hit the leg, if we hit the thigh, the meat of his thigh. He's got a pretty meaty thigh too. It's 50% inside that. His thigh is much tankier. Tanky thighs. I think there's a thick joke in there, but I'm not going to make it. I refuse. All right. We'll try that. Sprinting to position. Since the ups... Can I not be lied to by tooltips, please? Yeah. All right, so these four guys, or possibly five if we use the other one, are gonna kill these two. 
We've got two shots on each of the assaults. This is a relatively decent shot, too. Alright, so we are going to armor break the front one. So does that waste my armor break? The next attack deals 50 additional shred damage. Is it gone or is it till I hit? Is it a buff? I have something that shows as a plus over here. But that might be the close range damage thing. Wasted armor break. Okay. Steady. Fucking Xanadu, man. Feeling about this. Yeah, I have a bad feeling about your shooting skill. Okay. If it had a pierce value of 20, the armor's effectiveness would be reduced to 10. Like, that is the most confusing example I've ever seen in my life. You know, what was it? Okay. Uh, all right. Standard weapon does 50 damage. Yeah. The target has 30 armor. Uh-huh. That means it does 20 damage. Sure. Okay. If it had a pierce value of 20, so it's still doing 50 damage, but now pierces 20, reduces the target's armor to 10, sure. So then it does 50 minus 10, does 40 damage. Uh-huh. Sure. Okay, chat. Do you, do you want to look at this then? So, <laughs> if we have... The wording on that was super awkward, by the way. But if we have our personnel with our guy... With his with his weapon. And we're doing this, right? So it's doing 80 damage. And then basically piercing just subtracts armor. That's all it does. So the opponent has 50 armor. That's the best case scenario for piercing, right? Opponent has 50 armor. We hit him with this mace, this this hammer here, it does 80 damage, right? It did 80 against 50. Nice work. Alright, we bring in this thing. It has zero piercing. The opponent has 50 armor. We subtract 50 from 140 and get 90. I don't know how there's an argument about this.